What are your thoughts on the change Nvidia has been trying to make with linearizing pricing to performance with the Halo product? In previous generations, the 80 class was the anchor and you pay double for 10 to 20% more performance in a 90 slash TI slash Titan card. Now they want us to pay half of the 90 class price for half of the performance, a quarter for about quarter, essentially democratizing the luxury tax down to the mainstream buyers. And yeah, I think this comes down to Nvidia and AMD to some extent, sort of changing the the pricing scheme. Previously, it was that sort of you, as the lower tier products come out, they you, you, became you, more bang for buck, really. Yeah, you um, paid a premium every time you went up a performance tier for the extra performance. Yes, whereas now it seems that NVIDIA is trying to incentivize the higher tier. So by making this sort of linear scale, they're sort of saying, well, you know, if you have $500 to spend, if you thought about spending like $100 more to get the, the 4070, similar to price to performance, right? Like, the bulk of the reviewers said that the 6900 XT and RTX 3090 were dumb because yep. they were dumb, right? They were yep. like 10% faster for double the prices. And they're like, well, if you think that's dumb, <laughs> <laughs> how about we, we we really like the price of the RTX 3090? And AMD's like, well, we really like the price of the RTX 6900. So how about we just use that as our pricing structure? And then it can't yeah. be dumb anymore. <laughs> that's they're, basically what they've done. And that's what they've done. So, well, yeah, they're like, how about we make them even more expensive and then go off that? Yeah, but it seems pretty clear, especially with things like the 4060 Ti 8 and 16 gig models, that they're trying to incentivize that extra sale, which tends to make better margins for them. Whether or not this is going to be a successful strategy remains to be seen. You've talked a lot in the past about... NVIDIA and AMD trying to recondition the market. So previously we had that nice system where down the stack cards get more and more bang for buck, more affordable, cost per frame gets better. They're trying to recondition people to accept that GPUs are expensive, premium luxury products, and you have to pay a premium luxury price for that product. Mm -hmm. Now with this generation not really working too well, most GPU sales are not good and people aren't really interested, but if it means that for the 50 series, everyone is now conditioned to this new pricing structure, that potentially they have that benefit down the track. So, And that, that's what will happen because yes. the 50 series will offer a nice performance bump over those parts at each price tier. Yes, pretty much. So yeah, that seems to be what they're trying to do. This is part of it, the sort of let's switch to this incentivizing higher tier sales. The previous model kind of incentivized the lower tier sale, like something like a 3070, you're almost incentivized to buy the 3060 Ti because it was just a little bit slower, but it was like $100 cheaper. That's dead. That is not happening anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so it's unfortunate for shoppers, um, but at least people are voting with their wallets and sort of saying, no, not acceptable. I want this, this or this, whether that's VRAM or price to performance ratio, performance uplift. So from that sense, you guys are putting pressure on. It's just a matter of whether there will be any sort of reaction to that.